Hey everybody, it's Mindy from RoadrunnerGirl.com and I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I'm pretty excited about it. Actually, most of you know that I'm a part of an amazing group called Sweat Pink or Fit Approach and I'm a Sweat Pink am ambassador for them and a lot of my Sweat Pink sisters decided that we all wanted to, to vlog a little bit more, so we all kind of brainstormed and came up with some topics and we're going to be vlogging on a weekly basis or however long however you want to do it some people may only vlog once a month some people may do two to three times a month some may, some people may do weekly I'm going to attempt to do weekly but I'm not going to promise anything because we all know how that went in August when I tried to do the vlogging everyday thing that didn't happen so I'm going to try to do it once a week if not two to three times a month um we came out with some topics and this week's topic is about what you wish you would have known when you first started working out or running or whatever it is that you are active in your activity what's one thing that you wish you would have known about before you started so of course my activity is running I love to run as you all know I am a runner girl um, and there are so many things that I wish I had known before I started um, probably the biggest thing is your pace I have tried to be a runner for a long time. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to be a runner. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a runner. When I was in college, I wanted to be a runner. And I always, always started out way too fast. I would give up because it got too hard. So when I decided to actually give running another go about two and a half years ago after I'd had my children and I was just feeling disgusting and just feeling gross and you know, and had weight on me that I needed to lose, and I just knew I was really, really out of shape, and I'd never been out of shape in my life. I decided that, you know what, I've always wanted to run, I'm going to give it a try this time, and I'm going to stick to it, and I was very determined, and I started with the couch to 5k. I did it all on my own, um, but I had some frustrations, I had some injuries, um, but I ended up persevering through all that, and now I run all the time. But the one thing that I wish I had known about was don't start out way too fast. Actually, when you first start running, you need to run really, really slow because your legs need to get used to the motion of running. I remember when I first started, I was so sore and I remember feeling that lactic acid in my legs. I didn't know what to do with that. I didn't know what that was. Was I supposed to be feeling that? I had no clue. I also had tough times with shoes. I started out running in just a pair of tennis shoes. I didn't know any better. I was like, hey, you just need shoes. I didn't think there were certain shoes I would need. So I wish somebody had told me that first too, because what ended up happening is I ended up having some injuries with my knees. I ended up, I actually overpronate, and so my shoes were not good for that. I ended up putting pressure on my knees and having I, I ended up having a lot of pain and I had to stop for a week or two to let that heal up before I could start. And I was so determined I didn't want to stop. I mean, I did not want to stop at all. I wanted to keep going and it was really tough to do that, but I had to do it. But if somebody had told me from the beginning before I even started, hey, you need to go to a running store. You need to get fitted for a shoe so that you have the right type of shoe. Yeah, that would have helped a lot. <laughs> but anyway, my biggest thing, like I said, was the pace thing as I had always started out way too fast so if you want to run just remember you have to go really slow and I'm talking slow like it feels like wow I need to be going a lot faster than this but as a beginner runner that's the pace you need to go um, we tell that you know I'm a part of soul to soul sisters um, a running group and we help train ladies to get off the couch and run 5ks we also train them to to run um, 10Ks, and I'm currently training a group for their first half marathon, and they are, have their first half on September 30th. I'm so proud of them. They've done awesome. That's our first half training marathon group, group that we've done, and it's been awesome. But we always tell them in the Couch 5K group that one of us, the leaders that's doing it, we're going to be going. Usually we do like a 15 to 16 minute pace when we first start, and we tell them that if you need to go that slow, that's okay, and that's what you need to do. Of course, we have ones that go a lot faster, but we try to, you know, try to uh, stick to that pace if you're really new and unsure. So, I wish I'd have known that when I had started, but 
I ended up getting through it and I love to run now. It's awesome. Anyway, I hope to see you guys next week for another vlog. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.